Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Cindy, who is in a, and a pretty unusual van, and yet one that was going to work out really, really well. So, Cindy, tell us about the van you're in. Well, this is a 1997 Dodge B3500 one-ton van that originally was made in Canada. It was uh, sent to Anaheim, California and converted to what is called the Wide One. They were made from 1992 to 1997, and I have a 1997. This particular van was made for Phoenix Dial Ride, or Valley Transit, hence the V's all over the van, and that's the colors of the Phoenix Transit van. I, however, purchased it in Minnesota because it didn't have any rust. So it's made its loop from Phoenix to Minnesota back to the desert. And it's a perfect van to live in. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, seven and a half feet wide outside, seven feet inside widthwise. It's eight foot from the ground to the top and it's 19 feet long. And so was it, a, uh, was it empty when you got it or did you convert it? No, when I got it, it still had the original seats bolted to the floor and all of the seat belts. It was a 12 passenger plus it had a handicap lift. That was removed when I got it. Uh, are you full timing? I am full timing. This is my second and a half year oh, full timing. Wow. Uh, last year and the year before I was in a class B plus. Uh, which proved to be for me cost prohibited because I would have to pay payments and travel. So now that I'm in, I call him Vinny, um, I don't have to pay a payment because I got him for screaming smoking deal. I paid 900 bucks. Oh, that breaks my heart. <laughs> Why wasn't I there for that deal? Well, I don't know. Craigslist special, you know. And uh, has it been reliable for you? So far, yes. I've had, of course, I've had to put new tires sure. and tune up and oil change. I will have to put some leaf springs in the back. Um, other than that, no. Yeah, I've, some of the seals have been done. I got to do a few more. We put in a roof vent and, and yeah. Other than that, no. It's great. I came all the way from Minnesota all the way to El Paso, Texas, and back up. And the only thing we had to put on there was a, uh, a uh, fan for behind radiator which the name escapes me. I have those issues. So, <laughs> me too. Anyway, yeah, that's it so far. One of the things I found with the Class B Plus is because you have the engine part and then you have the uh, RV part, you have to take them to two different mechanics. So last year, my gas part went out in the RV part, and when they were fixing that, they broke the gasoline part so I had to have it towed to an auto mechanic for them to fix that. No more. I know what's in this. This breaks. It goes to the Dodge dealer or whoever to fix the motor and the rest of it, whatever. You. Yep. It's on you. You yep. did it. Yeah. I know what's in it. I know how to fix it. And how did you end up on the road two and a half years ago? I'm disabled. I use a wheelchair about 75 to 80 percent of my time. I don't walk very far. Um, I'm parked really close to main camp right now and I do run a generator so please forgive me uh, I do talk to my neighbors let them know right up front I got a generator but um, I uh, I watched my mom die in 2012 and uh, she sat in front of her window and she loved to travel and her life slipped away and she never got to go anywhere and when I started using a wheelchair more and more I said that's it I'm not sitting here and dying I'm getting out of here and I'm going to hit the road and I left and I'm not, I sold my house, I sold everything we had, I sold my dog business, I'm a certified service dog trainer and I sold the business and got on the road and I've never been happier in my life and physically the less stress I've gotten better where I can walk a little farther, I don't have as many uh, episodes where I lose leg function completely. Uh, I worked in a materials testing lab for years, and so I had some chemical issues, uh, short circuiting issues. So, yeah. So you have found that this life has inc has made you healthier. Yes, I have. I can honestly say that. Yes, because of the lack of stress and and the ease of life, and and if you don't feel well, shut the door and lay down. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, would you mind if we look took a look around? Sure. Let's do that. 
First thing I'm going to show you is Vinny's bling. How to get bling for Vinny. Uh, last year you had someone on your channel that bought stickers from hippymotors.com. So I went and got my fairies. I have the fairies on the front and I have one on each side and they match the color of our van. Very nice. I think those are really cool. Very personalized. I like them yeah. and, and they do a good job. Uh, the second thing was to get the mount done for the generator. We wow. lock it on and I have a metal cover that covers it. The generator, uh, excuse me, Vinny runs off generator, shore power, and can run off solar. I have solar on order, but I've already did all the work inside to get the solar done. I just got to get the panels mounted. Uh, the generator I use is a Ryobi and it's super quiet. Um, we can talk real close to it and it's very, very quiet. I do talk to my neighbors, like I said, and I tell them I'm running a generator. Um, I made the cover for it. Nice. They don't come with the cover, but that's really nice the Ryobi. Cover. Yeah. I love, uh, Ryobi makes great stuff. I'm they a do. big fan of Ryobi. I love Ryobi. Yeah. I do travel with a 6x12 trailer to pull my wheelchair, my recumbent trike, and my Vespa, and a kayak. So I like to keep as active as I can, and all of my toys have been modified for my physical disability. Um, love to get around on that. This is the back here. I uh, wanted to show you that we've got a backup camera that we installed at uh, the van build this November. Put some of these in the back door, mm -hmm. both sides. And this is our storage area. Lots of storage. Lots of good storage there. Easy to reach from back here? Yes. Won't go flying in the case of an accident? Nope. I'll show you my side ferries. Oh with, yeah. With the uh, dandelions that go up and around and, and the different colors uh, so that they match the van. And we have a stained glass window. Uh, this is the only window on the van that was not tinted so we put stained glass you can't see inside but right now there's reflectix to protect a refrigerator but this used to be the wheelchair lift panel and I have put in shore power so Very I can nice. plug in anywhere I want uh, on this end I have a standard plug on the other hand other side I have a standard 110 uh, receptacle. Very nice. So I can put two plugs into it. That's my shore power. Now remember I did all this so I'm not a professional. <laughs> this is the wire from the generator coming in. It also attaches to another 110 receptacle and I made the receptacle for this one brown and the shore power white so I don't get confused mm -hmm. where I'm plugged in. Under here is where I store all my hoses, wires, clamps, you name it, goes mm -hmm. under the steps. We're going to be putting in batteries right there. I just had that put in. Oh, it's yeah. a big box to put in four golf carts. Mm -hmm. Right now the batteries are under my bed and we're going to move them. Uh, the weight's too much in the back of the van, so we're going to yes. move them forward. Benny came with different seats up front, so I found these two nice uh, flex steel seats at a junkyard in a Ford F-150 conversion van and they have a swivel so I asked a welder to weld them in and he was gracious enough to weld them in so I have swivel seats up front and they were in very good condition when I bought them so and they're purple and they match the van really well um, was this the color of the van when you bought it? Yes. Oh, you had the V. Yes. So it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't change a thing in the color. I don't know if you can see it or not but I drive with hand controls oh, uh -huh. because my legs don't work, so I use hand controls. And then that little tank up front is my little propane tank mm -hmm. for my uh, little buddy heater. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just a little one and a half galloner. Mm -hmm. Love it. And then I use Ryobi fans to circulate the heat and circulate the air. It's real important to circulate the heat because then it's even, even out all over. Um, there's my Ryobi, uh, not Ryobi, but Little Buddy heater. Also have an electric one back there, and I've made all the covers for them. So you do occasionally stay in parks? So occasionally, you have yes. I yeah. can hook up in a park. And I found this at a consignment shop. It's a buffet. It dates back to the early 1900s. Oh my, it's pretty. It's very heavy. 
so watch your weight. That's one thing I learned. But it gave me my five foot countertop, which is more than I had in my B plus, way more. Way more, yeah. And uh, to make it more efficient, I built in my stove. Look at that, how nice. So I can cook there and use this whole countertop. Just shove it out of the way. Just, and then it rolls right back in. Couldn't be any simpler. And my pots and pans. Storage underneath, beautiful. And uh, I did not build in my sink because I used the wastewater. I used the wastewater for my toilet, and so therefore I have very little wastewater. But I still have this countertop I can work off of uh, and do what I got to do. Uh, right now I'm soaking Jake's food, so that's his food up there getting prepared. Jake is your puppy. Jake is my service dog. Right. And I've had him seven years. He'll be eight next week. Then I put in this pegboard. This whole van is fiberglass, so you can't drill into the fiberglass. Right. So I glued one by twos behind it and then uh, screwed the pegboard into the one by twos. Found these wonderful baskets that hold everything, a little metal tray for my spice racks, and voila, everything's handy and out of your way and does not fall off when you're driving, even on these bumpy roads. It's pretty yeah. cool. And then I built all of these little cabinets with the fishnet and the bungees and then put in all these little jars for canisters so that's my kitchen area there very efficient now this side over here is kind of like my pride and joy with uh, this is our bathroom this is what i call a dry toilet it has a urine separator in it um, so i used a dog dish with a drain that goes into a jar and then it's sitting on top of a three gallon bucket but the dog dish is bolted to the bottom of the uh, lip here or this wood so when you lift the lid it stays attached you don't have to worry about it and I can open the bottom to see what's in my jug so I can drain it and get rid of it and then I used to use a little stool right here and I fell off and got a concussion so I built a box right. and, and the box holds all the media for the dry toilet so that's coconut core and that is pine shavings and that's where your paper goes underneath is a big pan um, I'm not going to take it apart but I will show you this pan mm -hmm. that is my shower tub okay and that pulls out into the middle of the floor and I just released a video on my shower system. Tell us, uh, tell us your YouTube channel. It's traveling with the graham cracker, and graham cracker is spelled G A. Oh, I can't. Should be G R. G R A M K R A C K E R. I'm <laughs> sorry, I have T B I. I have issues with spelling. I am an engineer, and I can't spell. So anyway, this system up here. It, the shower system is bungeed and I can take the bungee off and pull this shower out to the middle of the room and now I can shower in my van and I yeah. use the pumper system for water. Uh -huh. And you stand in your rod? Uh, stand right here. Which has tucked away until you need it. That's right. This is nothing more than uh, a PVC tube. Two foot by two foot PVC. Right. And with a ring. And then the rope here that keeps it stable. It doesn't slide I've, around. I've used some broom hooks in the back to hold it to the wall uh -huh. and then when I want it out I just pull it out and slide it out in the middle. Right. And it just slides out on this? Yep, right on that pole. Out into the middle of the room yeah. and away. Yep, my own design. Brilliant. That's a Thank brilliant you. design. Ultimate in simplicity and yet yep. works perfectly. And I have uh, back here I have a charging station for my electronics. Which we all have to have. And this would be for shore power or generator power, this bar. And this bar here is battery power. So we also run off battery power in here. And right now we're running off battery. So I charge things when I run the generator. When I'm just doing battery, only the refrigerator is on. This refrigerator uses 60 watts of power. And uh, it's very low. right now... It's 110 volt? Yep. And it's a pretty good fridge. I mean, it holds a lot. And it's a, essentially an apartment fridge. Yes, but you, it's, to, you could buy in anywhere. Um, Home Depot. 
couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Super energy efficient. I think my winter that I have, I have a winter freezer in my trailer. It also runs pretty close to the same amount of power. Yeah. This is a pull-out pantry. Oh yeah. Nice. So I can put all my groceries in. Oh boy, that's nice. If I had it to do again, I would have made all this out of wood, but I already had the pantry, so I made it stronger with wood. We have a bookshelf here. And to save space, I've put these little switches and you can lay this down and now you can bring out the big books. You don't have to have space above, you just slide them out. Uh -huh. And then my closet, that's also over the wheel well, mm -hmm. and then uh, laundry. And this is a full size bed. We bought the bed frame from Walmart. It's one of those Z frames or whatever they're called. And then I built it up higher on a wooden frame so that I would have storage underneath. And I have drawers down underneath on this side and drawers on this side, and my inverter in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we have a very, uh, actually we have a coil mattress and then a three inch memory foam. And to save the pain of making it, I just put a sheet on there, we never touch it. We just make the, the foam, mm -hmm. leave the bottom sheet alone. Sure. And because you can't bolt anything to the walls, I use the metal framing of the van to bolt these shelves into the metal frame. All the artwork in here is mine. I am an artist and I paint, so all the pictures are mine. The other little toy we have back here is this little goodie. It's a Prolock by Solar. It's a battery charger, and that's how I keep my batteries charged up when I'm running the generator or I'm on shore power. I have two 210 amp hour golf cart batteries in series under the bed. Right. They will be moved to the middle. Well, boy, you've just done a great job. I'm really, really impressed. Well, thank thank you. you so much. I'm very pleased that you came to interview. I thought you'd like it. And it's, you're right. It's Van right up your alley. I'm, I'm glad you did. I just think I love everything I've seen. Thank you. Many brilliant ideas. Thank you very much. I would like to mentor people that really okay. want help because uh, you know, I've helped a couple people build their vans out already. I'm not really into building. I'll help you build. I'll show you how. I'll help you design space, teach you about road life, whatever you need to learn. If I got, if I have info, great. If I don't, I'll find it, help you out. But I'd like to do that. Uh, see Jude. Come, yep, put, I'm going to see Jude. Get your name, Jude. What's your Jude? Everyone, uh, I'm wanting to start a, a mentoring program, especially mm -hmm. with women who have you know, Cindy's been on the road two and a half years. She's perfect to mentor. Oh, and I, oh, one more thing. I have a garden on the side of my door and up oh, in my yeah. dash. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I do have a garden, and those are live. They're not fake. And how are you attaching them? Mag magnets? Magnets, Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the great thing about cargo vans is all the metal. You can just use. Thank you, Cindy. Everyone, I, th I hope you've gotten some great ideas. You've been inspired and motivated. You know, Cindy, you face some challenges in life. You. And you've not let them get you down. No. Oh. And uh, your experience with your mom said, go live now. Well, I have a blind child that went blind in 2005 uh, drinking artificial sweeteners. I have a deaf child that was born deaf, and I have uh, a granddaughter with Downs and one, a grandson with ADHD and one with uh, autism. So I have been through the loop. So i'm here we have fun all of us our family have to laugh and enjoy our lives or we'd all be miserable yeah that's and for we're sure. not going to do it there's a lot of people in that position yeah we're and just you, not and you're an inspiration thank you thank you so much everyone i hope you've been inspired you've made some decisions for yourself to live your life while you can to its fullest every moment of every day Get if you have <laughs> like us on youtube subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you later <laughs>